something wicked. This way comes. What do you really know about these cellular towers? Also very proud to be based at CERN, uh, where the World Wide Web was invented, and um, we benefit from that every single day. Uh, having access to CERN servers, to the fantastic bandwidth that um, CERN can offer us. We've all wondered for many years, or should have been wondering, what is CERN? And if it created the internet, what is behind all this? CERN has facilities all over the world, including their huge facility in Switzerland. These are just some images of their server rooms. This is CERN if you're not familiar with it. It is a huge set of sixes that are designed under the ground, just like their logo. Three sixes. Six, six, six. These are some images that they released of the colliding of particles. So what is CERN really up to? We have to understand what CERN really is. This sits outside of the front of CERN, Shiva, the goddess of destruction. Through my many years of research, I've come to understand that CERN is the manifestation, through technology, of Lucifer on this planet. And CERN created the internet. So what is the big plan? This is just some little science experiment? No, it's not full nature of what's going on is diabolical. They want to open portals to bring one thing through from another dimension into our dimension. To be able to bring beings through that exist outside of our realm. And no, they won't look like that. Won't be that lucky, fellas. To understand. 
understand this, you have to understand that Lucifer is the king of the air. The king of frequency in our world. To understand what this means, you have to understand that our bodies and everything around us, everything you see, smell, taste, touch, or hear, operates on frequency. Your eyes operate on frequency. What you see is a spectrum of frequency that exists. You only see a tiny fraction, a billionth of the frequency of light, of variations of light that exist. To understand this, you can imagine yourself to draw a line around the world at the equator. And the amount and variation of light band that is available, what you can see is if you took out on a trek around the world and only took one step, the rest of the trek is invisible to you. Sound. Everything you hear, as you're more accustomed to understanding, is frequency, just like your eyes. The same way your eyes are blind to most everything that exists, your ears are deaf to most everything that exists. Even smell operates strictly on frequency. Yes, taste operates strictly on frequency. So then, what are we talking about here? We're talking about frequency and everything that is frequency. And that CERN, CERN is frequency. CERN invented the internet. CERN invented cellular. CERN invented Wi-Fi. Many of us know what CERN is, that we know that it is in fact Luciferian. And so if you were Lucifer, and you had a big toy called CERN and the internet, and the cellular grid, and the Wi-Fi coverage over almost all of humanity around the world, what would you do with this power? And of course you would use it to fulfill prophecy. And what is the prophecy of what Lucifer's plans are? The prophecy calls for demons to come into our realm and sting us for many days. And how are they going to manifest this at some point in time? I'm going to explain this to you. The way that I became to understand this. Now that I have your attention. I'm going to explain this to you in my normal voice, the way I normally speak to people here on my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. What I'm going to do here for you is I'm going to explain to you how this came about, why I understand this, uh, some of which you're going to understand, some of which you're not. It all depends on the, what your level of knowledge is uh, and uh, what your experiences have been, what you've been exposed to as to whether any or all or none of this is going to make any sense to you. In 1995, and actually before I get started on that, I want to say to you that I'm going to explain this in several different ways. I'm going to start with this way and I'm going to explain it in another way and then another way. But in 1995 a playing card game came out. As you can see some of the cards are in front of you there and they are put beside actual events that have taken place across the United States and the world. 
this card game has had the ability to predict what is going to happen in the future so one of two things is going on they already know what the plan is meaning them the elites the main Luciferians that run CERN and run our world they either knew what was going to happen because they were planning it and making it happen or they have the ability to see into the future I suspect it's a little bit of both now now this card game that you could make fun of if you want to I don't see it as a joke too many things have been foretold by this card game the evidence is too clear this card game has a number of cards related to CERN the Center for Weird Studies you see the card on the left it says goal blinded by science what does that mean it means that science CERN which is where all science comes from they have a plan to be able to blind you by the use of this science just imagine if CERN has the ability to use the cell tower system that is in place to manifest project beings into our world and I believe that is the case and I'm going to explain to you why I believe it is so I'm going to cover this look at this a different way now but before I do that in case playing cards don't make any sense to you how about money can money predict the future it did you can see here in front of you all of the denominations of the US currency Federal Reserve notes you can see various different phases on each piece of denomination various different phases of the Twin Towers in New York City that collapsed you can see matter of fact all the phases of both buildings coming down the twenty dollar bill in the top in the center is maybe most familiar to you from the way it looked and what you've seen on tele vision so now I'm gonna move on and tell you this story in a different way as to why I believe this is their plan to use the cell tower systems the Wi-Fi systems CERN our computer and internet network system for a more diabolical purpose you see ever since I was three four years old I've had uh, I thought they were nightmares I thought they were something else the words that most people use to describe it at this point in time is lucid dreaming I've had lucid dreams since I was three years old meaning that I would wake up in my sleep but my body would be paralyzed but I would be conscious my eyes would not be open but yet I could see in my early years it terrified me to the point that I was stricken with fear there come a point in my teenage years to where I realized finally realized that when it happened I never got hurt so what was there the fear and as the years went on I become to be able to actually leave my body when I was able to relax and be fearless I could exit my body but this all ties to why I believe that they are going to use the Wi-Fi system and how it ties is that recently I was laying in my uh, bed a uh, number of times recently actually um, 
I had gotten a new Wi-Fi router and put it in my room. Matter of fact, it was in my bedroom. And while I would sleep, I would be awoken in a lucid state, a lucid dreaming state, meaning I'm paralyzed, but I'm conscious. And there would be demons crawling on me in the bed, grabbing at me, pawing at me, trying to pull me off the bed, pulling at me, tugging at me. I realize clearly how wild this may sound and how some of you may think this or think that, but it is what happens. And then I became to notice that maybe there was a tie of this with Wi-Fi, having a Wi-Fi router in my room because I'd never had a Wi-Fi router in my bedroom before until like six months ago. And I started unplugging the Wi-Fi router when I would sleep. Even if I would lay down and take a 15 minute, 30 minute nap, I'd be awoken in my sleep lucidly with demons for a lack of better words is what I'm calling them. There may be a better word for them because I really truly am not sure what they are. But when my Wi-Fi is on, and I bet that there are some of you here having the same experience, that when it's on, I have these experiences where things that I cannot see exist but I can feel them I can feel them touching me tugging at me most recently I forgot and left the Wi-Fi on while I was taking a nap and it felt like I woke up lucidly and it felt like someone had an axe handle and was pressing it into my ribs on my right side and with a tremendous amount of pressure actually um, it was quite startling I was able to wake myself up and get out of it um, these experiences really only happen when I'm asleep when I uh, when they start happening I lucid dream and run into these characters but only and I lucid dream without Wi-Fi on and it's always good experiences when I lose a dream with no Wi-Fi on. But with Wi-Fi on, I experience things messing with me that uh, I can't see. Now you're looking at another card I want to show you real quick. Um, this is a 1995 Illuminati playing card game, uh, Plague of Demons. They're saying that there's going to be a plague of demons that are going to be in the sky and down on the ground, as you can see in this card in front of you. They have predicted accurately in excess of 15 events with these playing cards. And with the combination of my experiences and my knowledge about CERN, the Internet, cellular towers, Cellular, why would they name cell phones cell? You have to name it something, but why cellular? Because they always tell you the truth right in front of your face without you even knowing it. Just like television, they're telling you a vision of what. They want you to believe reality is. That's why there are channels, because they are channeling information into your brain. That's why they are programming you with programs. They always tell you the truth. So it is my belief, based on that, that that's what's going on here. 
I don't know when. However, this revelation came to me um, recently, put all this together for me because I'd been washing all these different areas of thoughts around in my head and I was taking a nap and I woke from this nap with a revelation of that that's what this is. That's what they're going to do. They're going to use CERN and the cellular towers. It's kind of like the Tower of Babylon, except for instead of them being tall, they're widespread. And they're tall, even. Taller than they appear, 100, 200 feet. They're actually taller than that because they can reach into the heavens with the frequencies they emit. They are the Tower of Babylon all over again. Now let's move into the third way that I'm going to explain this to you and show this to you that they are, this is in fact what they're up to doing at some point. And I'm not positive on the date. Over the last years I've, I've, I've come to study the language of Gematria. It's the language of numbers and letters and the conversion of those back into the Hebrew language. Gematria is 10,000 years old. It was created approximately 10,000 years ago. It's when they took the language of Hebrew, the language of Hebrew, to create all the languages that exist on the planet today. They took Hebrew as the base language, which is a language that is so much more elaborate than the languages that we speak today. And they used a numerical coded system to create all the other languages that were then introduced across the planet on the different continents. And they use in this numerical system to create it, you can use the code of Gematria to look back, look at any language within our English language or the Jewish language or numerous other languages and decode it and see what they're saying or at least a hint as to what they're saying. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the the conversions with Gematria for a few different things. We're going to start with the word internet. And as you can see here with internet, uh, let's focus, uh, we'll look at all three of the numbers. As you can see it, it gives uh, uh, 379, 630, and 105. Now this doesn't have to make sense because you have no knowledge of this in order to, for this to be real. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what other words match. And the way that we match is that the numbers that you see to the right of the numbers like 379, 630, and 105, the numerical letters, the letters and the numerical numbers are coded and they have to match. It's millions to one for a word related to this to match. So let's see what matches we have. Let's start with uh, 630. Actually matches 630 and 105 which is Zionism. Zionism is a an ideology, a way of looking at life and it is not a good way. Uh, in my opinion, it would be an evil way to look at life and that everyone around you, if they are not smart enough to for you to fool them, that you deserve to be enslaved and controlled and destroyed on, on a whim is a very basic description of Zionism. Next we have masonry is a match for internet. An exact match, millions to one. And of course, we're talking about Freemasonry, the Masons, the 33 degrees of Masonry. Then we've got another exact match, 911. Yes, spelled out in the words. This all works backwards and forth, and nearly upside down, and frontwards and backwards. 9-11 a match exactly for internet and we all know what 9-11 was and something that most people don't know is that 
masonry, the masons at the very top are controlled by the Muslims. Yes, that's right. Look at the symbolism and do your research. You'll find out that it was created by the Muslims. Masonry was created by the Muslims, King Solomon, Israel, and is still controlled and ran by, at the top, Muslims. So all of you that are Freemasons, bet you didn't know that. Another very appropriate match is chemtrails, or rather chemical trails. It matches 379, which was the top number in Jewish gematria. Uh, matches internet, chemical trails. Chemical trails has very much to do with what we're talking about with frequency and the manifestation of entities onto into our realm. Chemtrails is a key component to the refraction of the frequency over a large area. Now let's look at another key word. Let's look up the word computer. And as you can see, the word computer in Gematria, English and simple Gematria, is encoded as 666 and 111, which is virtually the same numbers. They are, in fact, the same numbers. That may not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me and many others out there. So your computer, yes, it is Luciferian. This is part of the control network system to unfold Lucifer's plans. A couple of other things coded as 666, the words Mark of Beast. That would make sense, right? And of course, Monsanto, your GMO food manufacturer that's changing most of the basic foods molecular structure, cellular structure around the world. Filling your body with the necessary chemical and cellular structure that is necessary to fulfill the plan. Now getting back to the main focus, let's look at Large Hadron Collider. We'll focus on uh, the numbers in English and simple which is uh, 1086 and 181 kind of matches we got for that. Millions to one match. Barack Hussein Obama. Coincidence, right? Sure. Believe what you want. Magnetic wormhole. Just a coincidence, folks. Just a coincidence, folks. Let's look at another related term. The cloud. 390. 528 and a very interesting match some of you will get this 88 the cloud and here's an overall list of the matches for the cloud Trump as in Trump or trumpet Elizabeth as in Queen Elizabeth California marijuana Liscus, the color purple. Some of these terms are going to mean things to you that other people won't mean a thing. Allah Akbar, Walmart, Mormon, Vladimir, Jihadi John, Poison, Exodus. Many and most of these terms are related to what we're talking about and tells you a story. Now for a very interesting one. World Wide Web. Some of you already know that www is wah 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 is 666 in Hebrew. When converted www into Hebrew is wah 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 which is saying the number 666. That's how you say it. Wah wah wah. But what matches World Wide Web? Amazingly, Wizard of Oz. You know, the story of the man behind the curtain controlling all of the world, or all of Oz. Exact match. 
And another blow your mind match. Ground Zero. You know, like as in Ground Zero, 9-11. You know, where they blew up those buildings on top of a historic graveyard where the founders of this country dedicated this country to to uh, Christ and to God. Yeah, that's right. There was a graveyard under the Twin Towers where they blew those buildings up and came down on it. Look at the historical maps. Google it. Ground Zero. Millions to one match. And guess what? George Soros. Yeah, he's in the news lately quite a bit, amazingly enough. In the news for being a controller, criminal, diabolical, evil, Luciferian. Millions to one match. And they get better. The gates of hell. Another exact match. And what is a gate? What well, would be the gates of hell? Well, it's CERN. It's the internet, the word that we're looking up right now. The internet is a match for the gates of hell. You've seen enough to make your hair stand up. You understand what we're facing. Think Trump's going to save you? Trump does have a role to play, but it's for a short, very short period. Prophecy talks about it. See your Illuminati playing card on the right? Enough is enough. With a cartoonish image of Trump with the big eyebrows and reddish colored top of the head hair area looking just like Trump. On the card it says at any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. It is my suspicion that Donald Trump will be assassinated, possibly even before the inauguration. Will it be an actual assassination? I don't know. But it's in the cards. Pretend you were watching a movie. You're sitting on the couch at home and you're watching a movie. And the movie is, is what you're seeing on the news right now. The, all the protests in the streets about Trump. Uh, even in front of his Trump Tower. The hate and the vision and all this George Soros paid organization stirring this stuff up. What would you suspect would be a possible ending to this movie? Well, of course, we see the next scene playing out. It won't take long now to find out what the end of the movie will be. Or at least when it comes to Donald J. Trump. And as a bonus for you people still paying attention to Hillary, I want to show you what her logo actually means. Remember the two, the H with the arrow? It's just airplanes flying through the Twin Towers. And you see, after they assassinate Trump, this will be the next card that will be played. Eat the Rich, carefully orchestrated by the media. It will create an, an insane groundswell of anger, blaming the wealthy and powerful for everything. And then you'll have chaos in the streets, just like it says on the dollar bill, order out of chaos. And a quick peek into what I have coming up here in a few my few next videos. Let's take a look at a couple things. The day after tomorrow, just as in a recent article talking about the day after, the day after tomorrow, but the movie the day after tomorrow, and how they're signaling that there's going to be a wave. It's even in the cards that I just showed you. It's even in the money. The water running over the top of buildings. Even in Obama's pictures showing you. Even in his logos showing you the wave. Pepsi's even in on it. Coca-Cola, they've got their wave going. Bernie even got in on the action. And actually most of the political posters have the wave going 
in one form or another because there's a wave coming and they know it.